Greetings traveler and welcome to another one of my speed builds. For today our travels bring us to Hanford on Bagley and we're building, as you saw from the title, this teapot shaped house. So I saw this image on Pinterest which I'm gonna place here and it really inspired this idea and I just had to do it. And I was originally gonna have the curved walls of the teapot. As you can see here, I grabbed these pool guides from Get Together and created like this fake curved wall with them. But I did realize that it didn't look good. So I do delete all of these and just settle down for the normal straight walls. I just didn't think that this looked good and convincing. They were just really glitching and overlapping and they just didn't look put together well enough to form a wall so um, I did delete them even though they took hours to make um, but it had to be done and instead I opted for this is it an a hexagon um, I don't know the shape with eight sides um, I opted for that and just used roofs. Um, and I created the spout of the teapot with chimneys. Um, the main goal for that was to have like smoke coming out of them as if to imply that this is an actual teapot and there is boiling water inside. But the chimneys wouldn't produce smoke for some reason, even though I did have fireplaces inside the house and they were on um, and the chimneys were attached to the roof so I really don't know why they didn't work it's probably because they're rotated with tool but I really wanted like the smoke to come out of them to like get a really cool video for the intro and the reveal in the end it would have been so cool but Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, this t these stairs that you're seeing right here are these wooden benches from Outdoor Retreat. And I really like this idea, although I did have to place them in the basement and then raise them with tool in order to make this door accessible. And for the handle of the teapot, I got these rusty pipes from Eco Lifestyle and created this handle shape for them. And I just wanted this rusty teapot theme going on for the exterior, so I chose these rusty red brick walls and also red roofs. Um, the outside is just very red, even the windows and the doors and everything is pretty much red. Even the plants and the ivy on the walls, um, just to like contribute to the rusty factor. And you know, fantasy builds are such a... it's, it's like taking a break for me. To take a break from the other types of builds and designs um, because I don't know they just come naturally to me and I really enjoy them and they're pretty much in my comfort zone um, like for example last week's build was a bit stressful for me because it's very out of my comfort zone and I've never built anything like it before but, you know, it's good to get out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself every once in a while. You always end up learning something new and being more proud of yourself. Um, but, yeah, for me, the fantasy theme is um, what's comfortable and natural for me. Um, I've been going through Pinterest a lot. 
recently and I have so many build ideas saved so expect to see a lot of uh, builds that are based on some sort of artwork um, so here I wanted to make like this tree top tree balcony thing um, so I placed a floor and covered it with these wooden planks from Island Living and this is functional because the wooden planks are placed on the ground floor and then elevated with tool and I use this trick in this build a lot because everything is pretty crammed together it's just a really small build and it's very cluttered so I had to place some of the things or most of them a floor below in order to have everything functional and I did playtest everything so you shouldn't have any problems if you decide to download this house I hope I hope not I made sure to playtest everything like even the chairs which I usually don't do because, you know, they're just chairs, they're not really important, but I did playtest everything. Um, for today, I'm using more CC creators than usual. Uh, yeah, I say more than usual as if I've been doing this for ages, but this is just my third CC build, I think. Um, but we have a lot of CC creators today and I'm going to link everyone as usual and if you're still waiting for the tray files of my previous build then please please forgive me I'm working on it it's just it's such a pain to list every pack from every creator that I use it just takes a long time like I have to go into the build again and just look at the items and figure out uh, which pack they're from and also if you went to my patreon and saw the last post um, the last two posts I do this thing where I separate my CC links into two sections like a section for essential CC which are pieces that I use a lot in the build so you can't skip those because if you do it will be pretty much empty and then the other section is the non-essential CC which is like uh, pieces that I didn't use a lot or small decorative pieces you know things that aren't too important that if you skip those it wouldn't really affect how your build will look in the end so yeah that does take some extra work but I just want the people to more people to access my builds and make things easier for them these tree stumps are also from outdoor retreat and I make like made like these wooden stairs with them Although my sim didn't go up from here, I don't know what it is, what it is. like is it the terrain that's in her way or are, is it the wooden stumps? Um, but she just wouldn't go up from there, she actually took a detour and went around the lake and up these stairs here that you're seeing. Um, which is fine. I mean, if it bothers you, like, delete the tree stumps and see if it works. But I personally don't really care if she enters the door through um, the intended path or just figures out her own path by herself. It doesn't really bother me. Oh, and I just remembered I did place like a fake laundry line with clothes hanging on it, which is I think in the debug of Island Living. But if you want to actually like have your sim do the laundry and have an actual clothesline, you can place, you can delete that one and place the one from Laundry Day. Um, but I don't really do gameplay, so whatever works for you, just feel free to edit this build however you want and however suits you um, I just really wanted this place to look 
natural and overgrown, like it's just popping out of the middle of the forest. Um, and I don't know if you noticed that lake that I did here, um, but I basically wanted uh, I wanted it to look as if the water is going through this hill that the house is built on and coming out of the other side because I do add another lake here. Um, I don't know, it just really matched the law trait that this has a natural well. So I'm thinking that the water that's going through the hill is also um, going up through the house, like the house has pipes going down to it to get the water or something. Um, yeah, I don't know, I thought it was a nice detail. And I'm gonna do something here, um, which I'm not sure if it looks good. I mean, I probably could have rotated the water, the water emitters to make it look more like a waterfall but I didn't, but I basically like place this waterfall and then hide it with tool and then place these water emitters to have like the water coming out of them. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm thinking that if I um, rotated them at a more appropriate angle, they would have looked more natural, like, um, a waterfall or something. Uh, but yeah, um, we have a lot of mushrooms as well, and, um, did you see the mushroom stair? I forgot to talk about that. I made, like, this fake stairs, stairs with those mushroom, um, armchairs from Cottage Living. And now we're on the inside and as you can see it's a very small house but it still looks very cozy and very cluttered and like I said everything here is functional so no worries I know that from the first look you wouldn't even believe that this house is functional but it totally is which I'm very proud of um, if you notice the sink and the vintage uh, vintage stove, those are from Linz Lu and she has this beautiful vintage CC and they worked perfectly for this house. I'm also using clutter from different CC creators. As usual, gonna link everyone, but um, I won't like link... <laughs> I won't link... Uh, one of the packs that I used some pieces from here because it's not free and I don't think it's worth it to link it because I only use like three or four very small decorative pieces from it so it isn't really worth it to link the pack but like for example we have that egg plate from it and the jug and the plate with the pears those are from that pack um, and a lot of these clutter are like from different creators. Um, I'm always on the look for like witchy, witchy clutter or cottage core clutter. So if you do know any creators, please, please point them to me because I'm always constantly looking for that type of CC and it's a bit hard to come across um, but I hope that you don't mind that I'm using more CC creators this time um, I know that there are a lot of them but the packs that I'm using or the items are very small like in space they don't take up much space on your computer and there are very few pieces so I hope that's okay for you. Um, this coffee table is a coffin. This is the coffin table that I used in my Slytherin common room and 
like last time, I still don't remember who came up with this idea, so props to whoever did that, and I'm sorry that I stole it from you. Um, so, um, I wanted this place to look like very overgrown and kind of run down, so there are a lot of plants, and I used the wall holes and scratches and cracks from the vampires vampires pack um here is the second floor that gave me a headache with the roof because as you can see it's divided into two rooms and i deleted the floor of the second room to like create this kind of like a balcony thing overlooking the first floor um, and dividing this into two rooms did cause the roof to glitch into the house and appear so I get that problem a lot and I don't know how to fix it so if you do please please let me know um, I really hate it I get it all the time but yeah this is the study um, oh, and now we're on the final floor. Um, I did delete the walls of the bathroom because the ladder wasn't accessible. It's a very small room, and if I had to make the ladder accessible, I had to delete the wardrobe, which um, I didn't want to do because, you know, maybe she wants to change her clothes. Um, so it wouldn't have been convenient for your gameplay to get rid of the wardrobe. So I instead opted for deleting the bathroom walls and just kind of have like an open open floor plan that includes both the bedroom and the bathroom. Um, but I don't know, it isn't too weird or too inconvenient because it's a fantasy build. Uh, plus that wall on behind the bed stays so it isn't like the bathroom is directly open to the bedroom um, but yeah that's it for this build I hope you enjoyed and I hope to be seeing you in my next video thank you for watching you guys bye